In this series of tutorials, we are going to learn Langchain. Langchain is a platform to use different tools, together with large language models such as ChatGPT or Google Gemini, to create useful applications. In this series of videos, I will be assuming that you know almost nothing but very basic Python, and you also know how to install stuff on your computer. Rather than that, I will walk you through every single step of the process from almost zero to hero. So let's get started. In this series of tutorials, we will be using this window here. It's called Visual Studio Code, and if you don't have it installed, simply go to Google type Visual Studio Code and then download it. For me, it's Mac, but if you are on Linux or Windows, it also has installers for those operating systems. After you have downloaded the installer, the installation is fairly straightforward. Just follow the instructions and you will get to the point where you have this window. If you couldn't install this and ran into any problem, then simply shoot me a message in the comments and say, hey, I can't download this or I cannot install this. I will try to find a way or someone to help you set that up. So having that installed on your computer, then create a folder for this series of videos. You can place the folder anywhere you like. Name it Langchain Tutorial to be consistent with me. After you create that folder, simply go to File and then Open Folder and then open that folder. You will be seeing a window similar to what I'm showing right now, and you have the folder open so this full name should be appearing up here. So Langchain Tutorial is my folder name. Your scan be the same, I would recommend keeping it the same, because then down the road, you can better follow what I'm doing. Okay, now let's create the first file. Click on this new file, or simply go here and a new file. Then name it zero underscore installations. And then give an extension of IPYNB, which means it will be a Jupyter notebook that runs Python codes. Now we are in this Visual Studio, and we are ready to start installations. For that, head over to Google again and search for Miniconda. Go to Home and then you will find the installers for different platforms. Again, for me, it's macOS. You should choose the installer for your operating system. Then, copy the link. Then, head over to the terminal and type wget. It's just a command line download manager. Next, paste the installer's link for Miniconda and hit return. Let's now wait a few seconds for the installation to finish. Now, we need to run the installer. For that, simply type sh and the installer's name and hit return. Hit OK. Read documents by hitting the spacebar a couple of times. And when you reach here, just say yes. And then it's asking if you want to install it in this location, which we don't. Instead, we want to install the mini conda in this tutorial folder so that everything we do is isolated in this folder. It is a good practice to always keep installations isolated for the application you build. This way, you never run into package incompatibilities. So instead, write the directory path of this tutorial folder, and at the end of it write miniconda3, which is the folder that keeps all the miniconda files. If you don't know the exact path of the folder you are at right now, simply type pwd in the terminal, and that would be your path. Now let's wait some time for installation to finish. It is now asking if you would like to automatically activate Miniconda. Say no and hit enter. Test your installation by typing Miniconda3 slash bin slash python. If you see this window, then you are good to go. To exit, simply type quit to get back to the command line terminal. Now go back to Google. Go to python.langchain.com. Then go to the installation page and copy this installation command. This will install the long chain packages for us. Now head back to the terminal and paste the installation command. But don't run it yet as this will install Langchain on your system Python. Remember, we wanted to keep installations isolated, so instead, type the path to the pip of our miniconda. Okay, so we are done here. 
Now let's start running some cold. Let's say 2 plus 2. And then hit the run and as you can see it's asking for a kernel. You could actually also select it from here. Click on Python environments. And then click on the mini condas Python that we installed on our local folder. Now hit return to start the process. Since it's the first time it might take a little time to run. Sweet. We need to install an extra package. Yes. Go ahead and install it for me. Now as you can see the cell is executed and the answer is returned. So, we have everything we need to start. Let's do a final test. First, execute 2 plus 3. It just ran fine. Now, let's see if Langchain is installed. Yes, it is. Thank you for sticking with us until the end of this video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to support our channel's growth, please consider sharing this video with your friends and subscribing. Your support is incredibly valuable to us.